So Matt, I know there's been a lot of confusion about what actually drives rates. And I'm just hoping that you can kind of break it down for me and for our audience so that we understand what's really happening. What happens when the Fed comes out and says, we're gonna raise interest rates? So the first thing and foremost that we need to know is that inflation is what directs mortgage rates. Right. Not the Fed fund rate, that's a big confusion. That's the overnight you know, banking rate that they, you know, banks borrow money at. So the Fed fund rate, what they use is they use that as a tool to help curb inflation. So as inflation is up, so are mortgage rates. As inflation comes down, so do mortgage rates. Right, so if you are planning to buy a house in the next six months to a year, you really wanna be paying attention to the inflation rates and where those are going. And then that can help you determine when the best time to get a rate reduction would be, or even as a refinance. So, right. you know, we keep talking about marry the house, date the rate. Right. So if you're gonna marry the house because you can't afford right now to yeah. purchase a home, date the rate, you wanna be able to watch that. And it's just simpler to be able to watch that inflation rate. When do we expect that it will come down? So inflation readings are done on a year over year basis. So they're replacing, you know, September's reading from last year with September's reading of this year coming out within the next week or so. But the readings, if we look back, July, August, September last year were relatively low. Yeah. And it really spiked in October. So once we replace October of 2021's reading with October of 2022's reading, that'll come out in early November. That's when we're anticipating that uh, the reading should you know, support that inflation is starting to curve and come down and we're anticipating rates would follow suit. Okay, well, let's cross our fingers for that. We'll hold out for the rest of the month before we get that reading. And just keep in mind that, again, when inflation's up, rates are up. Inflation's down, rates are down. That's right. Okay. I like it. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, my pleasure.